Play surges forward. Possibility. We need to feature more Win and Eleven on the channel, on retro football specifically. So here we go. Win and Eleven 2002. I haven't played this before. So this is basically PES 2, I think, on the PS1. Uh, this is the Japanese version. It is translated, though, as you can see. I found the translated version of this. Gameplay and all that kind of thing will be exactly the same as winning 11, though. But I can just, yeah, work out which teams are which easily. Um, so, yeah. I love PES 2 on PS1 and on PS2. It's a decent game. Content wise, this looks very similar. Actually, thinking about it, have I played PES 2 on the PS1? I'm not so sure. So I don't know if I'll be able to compare this from a gameplay perspective to PES 2 on PS1. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, this is winning 11 2002. Let's forget about Pro Evolution Soccer 2 for a second, for a minute here. Let me sort my team out. Ooh. Uh, oh, Pochettino is in the team as well. Look at that. Yeah, Batastuta. I was going to say, where is he in the first 11? Was he still playing around now, though? Should he be there? I don't know, but he's going in the he's going in the side. Um, yeah, the general consensus online from what I've gathered over the years is when it comes to PES 2, uh, gameplay-wise, again, PS1, not PS2 version, but gameplay-wise, this is the version to play. And that seems to be generally the case, doesn't it, when it comes to pairs. Winning 11 always... Ooh, cameras. Winning 11 always seems to play slightly... I don't want to use the word better. It's different. More of a fluid game, I would say. But let's see how this feels. Oh, yeah, straight away. It, it feels very similar to ISS Pro Evolution Soccer 2, which um, is my... Well, one of my favourite football games of all time on the PS1. That's actually the first PES I ever played, if you want to class ISS Pro Evolution 2 as a PES. It's very confusing. If you were new to the PES scene, it's very confusing. If this was the first, your entry point, you found this video. This is the first video you're ever watching. You'd be like, what the hell is this guy rambling on about? <laughs> You're probably thinking that if you're just a regular anyway. But anyway, gameplay-wise in this is just fantastic. Straight away. Any of you guys who watch all of my videos, or a lot of them, will remember me saying a few days back or whatever, or hold that thought, that I generally know if I like a pairs game or a football game within the first minute or two. Uh, and that applies here, for sure. It's just so nice to play. This is fantastic. Oh, he's in. It's Ortega. He's in. Ah, oh, just wide. This is fantastic. Now, yeah, ISS Pro Evolution 2. I'm sure that's not this. I am right in saying it's Pro Evolution Soccer 2 that this is. Is that right? Because I'm going by the year here, 2002, and PES 2 was released in 2002. I'm confusing myself now. Oh, Switzerland score! It's 1-0! I'm not going to try and say that player's name. Oh, the commentary in this is far better than whoever we would have had. Oh, actually, I don't know. Because by now, on the European versions of this, or the, the replays, they're so good. Yeah, on the Western versions of this game, or, or PES, basically. I'm trying to think if it was still Chris James. I don't think it was. I think by now it would have been... I can't remember his name, but he's, he's a brilliant commentator. Um, Brook, Trevor Brookin and... Yeah, you know who I mean, guys. You know who I mean. My memory's absolutely woeful. <laughs> but this is smooth as silk to play. Absolutely fantastic. I'm already in love. So I'm going to be playing a lot of this, I think, in my spare time. 
I generally have a football game which I play for a week or two and then I'll move on and stick with another game. This will be my game probably for December actually. This will be it because it's so good. I'm going to fire up a, probably a cup tournament at some point, maybe a Master League and just, just chill and play this until the wee early hours because it is so good. The pace of the game on these games, on these PES games, winning 11 games, I'm going to include ISS Pro Evolution 2 in that because this reminds me of that game so much. It's almost played at a walk-in pace, isn't it? And that's how football should be, especially back then. The game wasn't as frantic as it is today, maybe. Like, if I watch old footage... Like my, I always remember when I used to visit my grandfather's house. Get out! Yeah, um, he had like loads of seventies Brazil uh, World Cup highlight tapes and stuff, and like old World Cups, like Mexico '86 World Cup. He had that on on a VHS, and the the, the pace was like this. I used to call it walking football. Very very tactical. Very slow. And I loved it. I just fell in love with football. You'd get little bursts of pace from individual players, but generally it was like this, wasn't it? The pace. And that's what I got suckered into. Suckered into? That's not the right phrasing, but that's what that's why I got hooked on these games. And again, ISS Pro Evolution 2 is where it begun for me. That's the first pairs I played on the PS1, and I could not put it down. I couldn't score. For days, literally days. I'm in, Claudio Lopez. Oh, he's at the post. Got another chance, shoot. Ah, oh. oh, it's better Stuter, it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good scoring a goal in these classic Pez World Eleven, whatever you want to call them, games. This is the dodgy rock music though. Down to bam, 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 bam. And you could do this on the replays. Look at this. I wonder if you could play these games with like an Oculus headset in VR. I don't know why I'm asking that question. Because it's obvious the answer is probably no. But it'd be cool as hell, wouldn't it? Anyway. <laughs> it's 1-1. Switzerland. Around this time, I'm trying to think. I'm not recognising many of their players. I do recognise Hakan Yakin. I think that was his first name, Hakan. But my players are much better. Sensini, Zanetti, Varon, Batistuta. I got Crespo on the bench. Just, yeah, they roll off the tongue, don't they? Those players. Those players' names roll off the tongue. The players don't roll off my tongue. That would just be really weird. Ortega. What a player he is, or was. Don't think he plays anymore. He'll be, what, in his 40s now? Late 30s? Is Zanetti. Oh, it's a post again! Was that Batistuta hitting the post again? This is... I'm going to use the word again. Fantastic. Oh. We're in lost time. Um, and it is on hard. I put it up to hard, guys, if you, if you didn't notice. It's easy, normal, and hard, isn't it? There's three difficulty levels in this era on PS1. Because PS2, PES, PES2, is very different, obviously. The console was a lot newer. It was a lot more powerful than the PS1. I would argue I prefer this to PES2 on PS2. No, I do. I don't even have to think about it. I'm not going to even argue. I just think this is better. Here we go, Claudio Lopez. He's in. Oh, no, I got stuck in two mines. Do I pass or do I shoot? And I did neither. Batistuta! Oh! It hit the... Po oh, their keeper's called Quentin. <laughs> it hit the post, and then I think he saves it, and then it goes out for a corner kick. Veron takes it short. Oh, Roberto Ayala at centre-back for me as well. What a great... I was going to say great team. That was Argentina's problem. Ooh! They were like a collection of talented individuals, weren't they? Rather than a, a, a team collective. 
until recently, obviously, when they won the World Cup. I've always had a soft spot for Argentina. I always like to see them do well. Oh! Switzerland, what am I doing? I've got to get a tackle in. I do. That's brilliant defending, but here comes Switzerland again. Hey! Okay, think about this. Here we go. Total football out of the back. I try not to panic. It's probably why I concede silly goals a lot of the time on these videos. But I, it's just how I play. I like to play out from the back. I like to control the game as much as I can. Oh, he's in. This Ortega. He's got to score. He's got to score that. He's got to score. It's still 1-1. I want to win this match for this video. Just for once. I never win these matches. Oh, here we go. It's Claudio Lopez. Good tackle from Haz. They've got a player called Haz. is in the F1 team, uh, Switzerland. But yeah, this is so good. Like, so, so good. And big shout out to one of the viewers, one of our lovely subscribers. I can't remember your full name, so apologies. But you've got winning 11, I think, in your username. And you did ask a few weeks back as I'm recording this to uh, have a look at more of the Japanese versions of these classic PES games. So this is for you and everyone else, but this is for you as well. So thanks for that request. And I will, I will check out more uh, World, World 11s, <laughs> winning 11 games and the like. Ortega! Oh, it's a corner. Um, the reason I don't, I like to find the English translated versions of these games for obvious reasons, like I explained earlier. Here we go. Shoot! Just just because of navigating around menus, basically. It, it's just... I, I can't read, um, or I don't understand the Japanese language at all. And it is... It's something I used to be interested in, actually, is learning ja the Japanese language. But, um, yeah, as I've grown older, it's just not something I think I'm prepared to do now because I'm too old. Oh! But, yeah, I think it's a super cool language. Uh, here's Turkey Alamaz. I said I wasn't going to try and say his name, but there you go, guys. Can you imagine me trying to learn Japanese, can't you? You'd be lolling, I'm sure. But very talented developers, Konami, around this time. Very, very talented. Making the best football games. FIFA doesn't touch this for me around this time. It doesn't get near it. It's in a different universe from a gameplay perspective. Even the very good FIFA games don't get near this for me. They just don't touch it. Oh, I've got to remember that buttons are reversed on the Japanese versions of these games. Let's get on. Batastute is probably really tired. Let's get Crespo on. Okay, because Batastute are around now. If he was still playing, and I think he might have been in 2002, he's going to get tired quickly. He's going to be old. He's going to be an old man out there. Here's Claudio Lopez. Right, let's shake myself. Oh, he rolls it in. It's 2-1. It's 2-1. Again. Oh, the commentary's so good. That felt amazing <laughs> to score that. It felt so good. You can't see me. I'm fist pumping here, guys. And that is what these PES games did. And they do on PS1 and PS2. They still do. They... They make me emotional. That sounds pretentious. But when I score a goal in FIFA, modern day FIFA games, I feel nothing. I don't feel an emotion. I still do in these games. Because you have to work so hard for your goals. You really have to think about what you're doing. I got a bit lucky with that goal because I don't know what they're doing in regards to their uh, right back and their left back. There seems to be a ton of space on both the flanks for my wingers to exploit. But anyway, I'll take that. 2-1. Can I see it out? Can we have an episode of Retro Football where I actually win a match? Jump. Good header. Here's Veron. Veron was a Rolls Royce. Didn't work out for him at Man United. I've talked about this on the channel before. Everyone knows it. Oh, what was that? The player I wanted to make a forward run didn't run. And then I just passed the through ball to no one. But it doesn't matter because we are going into lost time. 
few seconds here, but... Oh, it's okay, I got that. Lost time. Just keep possession. There he goes, a pass on. Oh, that's a nice flick on. Through ball, he's in. Oh, keeper sweeps up. Come on, ref. There it is, it's full time. Argentina win 2-1. That has been... Is it World Soccer Winning 11 2002? Is that the full title of this game? It's fantastic, guys. If you haven't played this and you love Pez, you're interested in the Pez scene, check this game out. It's awesome. Look out for more content coming to the channel. I'll speak to you all very soon.